Well, hey guys, and welcome to Doctor Who series four. Wow, <laughs> uh, it just shocks me every single time how quick we're going through this amazing adventure. And thank you all so, so much for being here and enjoying this along with me. It's just been absolutely wonderful, so much more than I ever would imagine. And sharing it with all of you just makes it even more magical. So thank you so, so much for being here. I am terribly excited for this next series with our beloved doctor. Uh, no Martha though. So who's our new companion? Not sure yet. Maybe we'll find out in this one or the next one. But I can't wait. Let's go. <laughs> Whoops. Hello. What? <laughs> the Titanic. What? What? Oh. What? Whoa. That is damn cool. Oh, very fancy. I think I just recognized somebody. Oh, we don't want to see them. Do you guys move? Ah! Oh my gosh! Have I stumbled into a Buffy episode? Right. The Titanic is now in orbit above Sol 3. Welcome to Christmas. What? Okay. <laughs> I want to know how many other people got fooled with that version of the Titanic. That's not what I expected at all. It's just like a luxury cruise liner, <laughs> a Titanic <laughs> cosplay adventure. Kylie Minogue, I thought I saw her. I think she actually has a little bit of a British accent these days. So I don't think we'll hear her Aussie voice. Christmas is a time of celebration. I think you might be entitled to a tot of rum. Off you go. I'll keep watching. So these people aren't from Earth. And you? What was it? Midshipman frame, sir. Then you can stand down, midshipman. Uh, regulations say the bridge has to be staffed by two crew members at any one time, sir. Well said. Very good. That guy's dodgy. That old man is dodgy. Well, it should be nice and quiet. It's only a level five planet. Silent night, I believe they call it. A silent night. Yep. He's dodgy. Max Capricorn Cruise Liners. My name is Max. Max. <laughs> Max Capricorn. I don't like that guy. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I love how everyone's dressed up in like 1920s fashion. Now do as I say and sell. Passenger 57, you would be information. Heavenly host supplying tourists information. Where are we from? The Titanic is on route from the planet Stowe. All designations are chosen by Mr. Max Capricorn. Max. 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 Yep. Getting some bad vibes about that Max Capricorn. Software problem, that's all. Merry Christmas. Hmm. Maybe the angel didn't want to say his name. That's eight of them now in the blink. I've been over the robotics. Nothing. But something's got into them. You can't fix them. Throw them overboard. Oh! What? Yeah, they're scary. Look where you're going. This jacket's <laughs> a genuine Earth antique. I'm sorry, sir. Staffed by idiots. No <laughs> wonder Max Capricorn is going down the drain. Careful. There we go. Oh. Thank you, sir. I can manage. I'm the doctor, by the way. Astrid, sir. Nice to meet you, Astrid. Merry Christmas. You enjoying the cruise? You don't quite work a cruise on your own. You're not with anyone? No, no, just me. Used to be, but... Uh... Mm. No. What about you? Long way from home. Planet Stowe. No oh, sure leave. We're not allowed. I just wanted to try it. Just once. I used to watch the ships heading out to the stars. I always dreamt of... You dreamt of another sky. New air, new life. A whole universe teeming with life. Why stand still when there's all that life out there? So you travel hmm. a lot? All the time. Just for fun. <laughs> Must be rich, though. I haven't got a penny. Stow away. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I should report you. Come on, then. <laughs> I can shoot a drink. Oh, they're cute together. I like them. Just ignore them. Something's tickled them. They told us it was fancy dress. They're just picking on us because we haven't paid. We won our tickets in a competition, but they're not good enough for that box. They think we should be in steerage. Can't have that, can we? Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> 
baby. <laughs> I'm Marvin Van Ock. This is my good woman, Foo. Attention, please. Shaw leave tickets. Red 6 7. Now activated. That's us. Are you Red 6 7? Might as well be. Shaw leave. We're going to her. <laughs> oh. See, I'm here having a great time, but I just know that something's going to go very wrong. Taking up a meteoroid shower. Very standard in this part of space, miles away. Mmm, I bet they're not meteorites. I got you that drink. And I got you a treat. <laughs> Red six seven plus one. I'll get the sack. Ship's history. And I should be taking you to oh, old London that's so town amazing. in the country of UK. Ruled over by good King Wenceslas. <laughs> Now, human beings worship the great god Santa. And every Christmas Eve, the people of the UK go to war with the country of Turkey. Oh. They then eat the Turkey people oh. like savages. Where did you get all this from? Well, I have a first class degree in earthenomics. Oh, earthenomics. Red six, seven. Hold on, hold on. Uh, what was your name? Got a couple letter. No offense, but you'll cause a riot because the streets are going to be packed. Oh, oh, it's empty. What year is this? But don't stray too far, it could be dangerous. Any day now, they start boxing. <laughs> boxing day! <laughs> I'm standing on a different planet. Alien yes. shops, real alien shops. Oh. Come on, then. let's have a look. I love how he can just take so much pleasure in anything. London at Christmas, not safe, is it? Christmas before last, we had that big bloody spaceship, and then last year, that Christmas star <laughs> electrocuting <laughs> all over the place. This year, God knows what. As far as I know, this year, nothing to worry about. Oh, really? Okay. I was in mid sentence. Bit of a problem. We seem to have suffered a power fluctuation. Free oh. drinks will be provided. That was the best. The best. <laughs> What sort of power fluctuation? That. <laughs> Meteoroids are changing course. I think it's um, aliens, an alien ship. You're magnetizing the whole, so it's drawing the meteors in. Bit of a light show for the guests. Something like that. Ah, uh, yeah. He's evil. He is evil. Ooh. Oh, isn't he clever? The bridge. I need to talk to the captain. You got a meteoroid storm coming in west zero by north two. You got meteoroids coming in and no shielding. You have no authorization. You will clear the comms at once. If you could come with me, sir. The shields have been taken offline. He'll right, probably sir. kill that poor guy. Away, yep. Okay, that is very, very quick and close. Me. Get to the light. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. It's my duty. Oh. Something seems to have gone wrong. All the teleports have gone down. Now. Oh. Oxygen membrane holding. Has anyone checked the external shielding? You are all going to die. <laughs> You've got to kill us. I'm dying already. Six months. And they offered me so much money for my family. For his family. The shields are down. Listen to him. Max Capricorn. <laughs> Red alert. Wow. Then what's the point of killing all these people? What is the benefit? Oh, we need to get everyone out right now. Organize. Are they behind it? He's stopping. Bad name for a ship. Yes. Well, that, this suit is really unlucky. <laughs> On behalf of Max Capital and Cruise Liners, we seem to have had a small collision. Oh, oh, no, 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 small! Oh, no. It is, after all, a fine and steady ship. If you could all stay here. Don't open it! Oh! Whoops. Oxygen oh. shield stabilized. Everyone all right? Astrid, Foon, Morbin, Mr. Copper, Bonnie Capalata. Yes. <laughs> you, what was your name? Uh, Rickson Slade. You all right? No thanks to that oh. idiot. Stuart just died. Then he's a dead idiot. Wow. All right, calm down. I love how the doctor cares about everybody. He just wants to make sure everyone's okay. What happened? How come the shields were down? I don't think it was an accident. How Whoa. many dead? We're alive. Just focus on that. 
I will get you out of here, Astrid, I promise. We can get to reception. I've got a spaceship tucked away. We could all get on board. And... Yes. Oh. What is it? What's wrong? That's my ship over there. Oh, where? Oh, no. Yeah, that box. Oh, that no. Box. It's a bit small. A bit distant. Once it's set adrift, it's programmed to lock onto the nearest center of gravity. The Earth. Yeah. Oh, no. You'll have to see if you can get the, the teleporters to work again. House, that's an order. Help me. We now have only one function. And what's that? To kill. To kill. Ah! What are you doing? <laughs> Killing <laughs> his job. Moving. Stop it. Deck 22 Whoa. to the bridge. This is the bridge. Hello, sailor. Good to hear you. What's the situation up there? The ocean field is holding, but the captain, he's dead. He did it. My mother, he took down the shields. There was nothing I could do. I tried. All right, just stay calm. Tell me your name. What's your name? Midshipman Frank. What's the state of the engines? Mm, on fire. Hold on. Have you been injured? I'm all right. <sighs> they're, they're cycling down. <gasps> Mum and they're gone. We lose all bit. If we hit the planet, the nuclear storm explodes and wipes our life on Earth. Not good. I need you to fire up the engine containment field and feed it back into the core. Trust me, it'll keep the engines going till I can get to the bridge. One, we are going to climb through this ship. B. <laughs> Two, we're going to reach the bridge. Three, or C, we're going to save the Titanic. <laughs> and coming in a very low fall, or D. Or D, or D or yeah. Why? <laughs> who put you in charge? And who the hell are you anyway? Oh. I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. Oh. I'm from the planet Gallifrey, the constellation of Casterberus. I'm 903 years old. I'm the man who's going to save your lives and all six billion people on the planet below. <laughs> wow. You got a problem with that? Oh, I love that. I love how the things that he was saying was punctuated by the electric sparks. Careful. This is very much in the spirit of Christmas. It's a festival of violence. Human beings only survive depending on whether they've been good or bad. That's not true. Christmas is a time of, of peace and thanksgiving and... What am I on about? My Christmases are always like this. <laughs> We've got a host. It. We can use it to fix the rubble. We could do robotics. That's good. It's blocked. So what do we do? We shift it. Brixton, Mr. Copper, and you, Balakavalata. Look, can I just call you Bala? It's going to save a lot of time. No, Balakavalata. <laughs> well then, Balakavalata, there's a gap in the middle. See if you can get through. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think you can crash Is he down okay? Any Did you get that message? What message? Shut up! <laughs> Balakavalata, made it. I'm small enough, I can get through. Careful. How are Mr. Mr. Fatso going to get through that gap? Uh, we make the gap bigger. So start. Don't listen to him. No, but it's all my fault, though. The tickets. We won them fair and square. I never told you. I dialed the competition line 5,000 times. Uh oh. That's 5,000 credits. How much is that? <laughs> 5,000 credits? She just wanted to give them a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Five thousand. You're not cross. You drive me, Barbie. Oh. I don't have to love you. Oh, are they beautiful? Oh, they're gorgeous. Capalada, what's wrong? Are you hurt? Ashamed. Poor Banner Capalada. Oh, you're a cyborg. Secret. No, but everything's changed now. Cyborgs are getting equal rights. They passed a law back on Stowe. You can even get married. Marry you. You can buy me a drink for it. Let's recharge you. Tell no one. What's going on out there? I think Ben and Cafalada and I just got engaged. <laughs> <laughs> this is kitchen number five. How many of you are there? Six of us. We're stuck. The doors have sealed. No. Uh oh. Wait a minute. It's, it's open. those angels. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh my god. Oh, They're all dead. Who programmed them to do that and why? Ah, oh, it's Max Capricorn. Oh, there's always weird robots on Christmas. Uh oh. Close the door. Oh, he's awful. The doctor, he won't make it. The point of origin of your command structure. Oh, nice. 
Oh, hopefully that hand doesn't move by itself. Food. Oh, great, someone's happy. Mr. Frame, you still there? Well, I've got a host outside. I sealed the door. I've been programmed to kill. Why would anyone do that? I choose a maximum deadlock. No one can get in. Or out. I'm sealed off. Even if you can fix the Titanic, you can't get to the bridge. What is on deck 31? It's just the host storage deck. Well, what's that? It's registering. Nothing, no power, no heat, no light. 100% shielded, what's down there? Saved you some. You might be a Time King from Gatterby, but you still look to eat. Time yeah. King? <laughs> well, you look good for 903. You should see me in the morning. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Christmas Day. So it is, Merry Christmas. This Christmas thing, what's it all about? Long story. I should know I was there. Uh -huh. I got the last one. They could send up a rocket or something. They don't have spaceships. They have the shuffles. Space shuffles. Mr. Copper, this degree in Earthonomics, where's it from? Honestly, Mrs. Golightly's happy traveling university and dry cleavers. Oh! You lied to the company. I wasted my life on stone. And Earth sounded so exotic. No, I suppose it is, yeah. How come you know it so well? A few years ago, I sort of made homes, and um, that was the Earth. Now, the minimum penalty for space lane fraud is 10 years in jail. I'm an old man, where I won't survive 10 years. I don't think he should have to go to jail for 10 years. Oh, that's interesting. That's the only way across. On the other hand, it is a way across. The engines are open. Nuclear storm drive. As soon as it stops, the Titanic falls. It'll never take our way. You're going last, mate. Me and Foon should go. Oh, no. Just shut up, shut up! Bring it back! Oh Please, no! Bring it back! Bring it back. I'm sorry, I'm you promised me! I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh no! Take it slowly! I don't care if he goes, you can fall oh. off. What help me? Come on, you can do it! Kill, kill. They're getting nearer. Never see trapped, just inconvenient circumstances. <laughs> Maybe he's alright! I'm sorry, Foon. He's gone. But, <laughs> but maybe he is okay, though. Yes! Oh, yes! Panicavalapi, you go next. Panicavalapi, let us go! Master, get across right now. What about you? Just do it, go on. He'll go last. We can't wait. Oh, After you, don't argue. You've got to get across right now. What am I going to do without him? The door's locked. Just think, what would he want, eh? I don't want nothing. He's dead! I can't leave that. She'll get us all killed! I am coming back for you, all right? Oh no, why do I see her throwing herself down? It's just so They've stopped! Why Go. would they give up? Never mind that, keep coming! We're the host. We forgot the traditions of Christmas that angels have wings! <gasps> oh, okay. These things can fly too. Information killed. <laughs> what if they don't have those little halos on their heads anymore and they destroy them like this? They can't get their killing weapon. Oh! I can't! Stop! Oh wow! Got rid of them permanently. Electromagnetic pulse took out the robotics. Banakapalata, that was brilliant. Yes. Did he die from He's doing that? He's used all his power. <gasps> Did good. He saved our lives. Banakapalata, happy. We can recharge you. Too late. No, but you gotta give me that drink, remember? Oh no, we've lost two now. Oh, this is so sad. Will there be anyone left at the end? It's the EMP transmitter. He, he'd want us to use it. But if we can't recharge it, we can use it as a weapon against the rest of the host. Banakapalata might have saved us all. Try telling him that. Uh oh. Information. Use the Wait. EMP. Security protocol 10, uh, 21, 4, 5, <laughs> 6, 7, 8, 1. Information state request. Good. That worked? 
You've been ordered to kill the survivors, but why? No witnesses. But this ship's gonna fall on the Earth and kill everyone. Why do you want to destroy the Earth? It is the plan. What plan? The protocol grants you only three questions. Well, get someone else to ask. Information. Well, you will die. Hey! You're coming with me. <laughs> I thought she would do that. We've lost three people now. I tried to find a way of transmitting an SOS. You're in charge of this. Once it's powered up, it'll take out a host within 50 yards, but then it needs 60 seconds to recharge. Got it? Rickson, I've preset it. Just hold on that button. It'll open the doors. Do go on, go! All right! See, when it's ready, that blue light comes on there. What happens as if you're not coming with us? There's something down on deck 31. I'm going to find out where it is. It sounds like you do this kind of thing all the time. Not my choice. All I do is travel. I'm sort of unemployed. I was thinking that blue box is kind of small, but I could squeeze in. It's not always safe. So what do you think? Can I come with you? Yeah, I'd like that. It would be nice, but honestly, I see everyone dead by the end. The British showed up! I'll get there, Mr. Frame, somehow. Mr. Copper, look after her. Astrid, look after him. Rickson, um, look after yourself. And I'll see you again. <laughs> That's an old tradition on Planet Star. Yeah, I have really got to go. Just, just wait a minute. <laughs> it's a real tradition, yeah. <laughs> see you later. Oh, yes. I love how she had to stand on the box. Nice. Quick, go recharge it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Security protocol one. That gives me three questions. Three questions to save my life, am I right? Correct. That was one question. No, that wasn't one of them. I didn't mean it. That's not fair. Can I start again? Information. No. That's no, another question. No, 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 that wasn't a question either. Me. One question. You've been given orders to kill the survivors, but survivors must therefore be passengers or staff, but not me. I'm not a passenger, I'm not a staff. Go on, scan me. I don't exist. You can't kill me. I'm a stowaway. And stowaways should be arrested and taken to the nearest figure of authority. And I reckon the nearest figure of authority is on deck 31. Final question. Am I right? Correct. Take me to your leader. <laughs> nice. I've always wanted to say that. I need to check the computer. We need that SOS. The bracelets that take them down to Earth. This is reception one. Tell me, can you divert power to the teleport system? No way, I'm using everything I got to keep the engines going. I need to get to deck 31. And I'm telling oh. you, no. This is for the doctor. He's gone down there on his own. He's done everything he can to save us. And it's time we did something to help him. Giving you power. I'm gonna find him. Good luck. With the most, this ultimate authority of yours. Who is it? Oh, that's clever. Indestructible. Only one person can have the power and the money to hide themselves on board like this. My name is <gasps> Max. Oh, he's so creepy. Who the hell is this? I'm the doctor. <laughs> Hello. Information. Stow away. Kill him. Oh, no, 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 wait, but you can't. Not now. You're giving me so much good material, like how to get ahead in business. Nice. Oh, I like a funny man. Nice wheels. Oh, a life support system in a society that despises cyborgs. I've had to hide away for years. Situation report. Titanic is still in orbit. Should have crashed by now. The engines are still running. They should have stopped. What's the Earth got to do with it? Yeah, no, what's no, his no, deal? No. Why is he hold doing on, this? Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Business is failing and you wreck the ship, so that makes things even worse. The business isn't failing, it's failed. My own board voted me out. <laughs> you scupper the ship, wipe out any survivors just in case anyone's rumbled you, and the board find their shares halved in value. Oh, but that's not enough. Because if a Max Capricorn ship hits the Earth, it destroys an entire planet. The business is wiped out. And the whole board thrown in jail for mass murder. While you sit there safe inside the impact chamber. A retirement plan. 2,000 people on this ship. Six billion underneath us, all of them slaughtered. And why? Because Max Capricorn is a loser. I never lose. I can cancel the engines from here! No, 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 no! What's happening? I'm not so clever now, Doctor. A shame we couldn't work together. You're rather good. The Titanic is falling. The sky will burn. Let the Christmas Inferno commence. Kill him! Mr. Capricorn! 
Oh! <laughs> I resign. <laughs> oh my don't! He's gonna go off the edge. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh-oh. This is not working out how I expected. Cut the bright line! No. That was a magical portal, so everyone would be okay. Voyage terminated. Everything just falling down around him. Wow, that is glorious. Where are they taking him? Are they? Lock. Ha! Broken. Frame. But, but the host. Controller dead, they'll go to the next highest authority. And that's me. Oh. There's, there's nothing we can do. There's no power. The ship's gonna fall. <laughs> Amazing. Titanic falling. What's your first name? Uh, Alonso. Falling. You're kidding me. <laughs> what? Alonzi, Alonzo. Alonzi, Alonzo. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's where it's going to land. Oh no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that going to miss? Oh. These two are still alive. I was expecting them all to die. <laughs> Use the heat of re-entry to fire up a secondary storm drive. Unsinkable, that's me. Do I did? No, all of us. Teleport! She's wearing a teleport bracelet! <gasps> yes! She she was! Critical, but she fell. What's the emergency code? Oh, let me see. Oh. If a passenger has an accident on shore leave and they're still wearing their teleport, the molecules are automatically suspended and held in stasis. So if we could just trigger the ship. I'm falling. Only halfway there. Come on. Keep falling. No, 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 no. Doctor. No. I can just link up the surface suspension. I can do this. I can do it. Let her go. Oh, no, no, don't give up. I didn't do anything. Stop me falling. Not enough left. The system is too badly oh. damaged. Oh no. She's just atoms, Doctor. She's stardust. Astrid Path, citizen of Star, who would have looked at the stars and dreamt of traveling. That's an old tradition. Now you can travel forever. You're not falling, Astrid. You're flying. It's beautiful, so sad. A rescue ship should be here in 20 minutes. They want to talk to all of us, I And 10 years in jail is better than dying. Doctor, I never said thank you. <laughs> the funny thing is, I said Max Capricorn was falling apart. Just before the crash, I sold all my shares. It's made me rich. <laughs> of all the people to survive, he's <laughs> not the one you would have chosen, is he? Mm-hmm. But if you could choose, Doctor, if you could decide who lives and who dies, that would make you a monster. Mr. Copper, you deserve one of these. Yes. He'll be able to be a proper Earth expert now. There she is. Survive anything. You know, between you and me, I don't even think this snow is real. I think it's the ballast from the Titanic salvage entering oh. the atmosphere. Really? Yeah, one of these days it won't snow for real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I I suppose you'll be off. And uh, what about me? What do you want to do? I travel alone. 
It's best that way. What, what am I supposed to do? Give me that credit card. Who put money on it's it? It's all done by computer. I, I didn't really know the currency, so I thought a million might come. Ooh. Ooh. A million? Pounds? Are there enough for trinkets? Oh, oh, yes. Mr. Copper, a million pounds is worth 50 million credits. I've got money. Yes. Yes, you have. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. I... Oh. <laughs> yeah! It's all yours. Oh, I'm happy Earth. for him. Now, that's a retirement plan. But just you be careful, though. Just have a nice life. Yeah. But I, I can have a house. <laughs> oh, Doctor, I, I will make you proud. Oh, I hope so. And then I can have a, a kitchen with chairs and windows <laughs> and plates. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for you. Um, where are you going? I've no idea. Me neither. <laughs> but Doctor, I won't forget her. Merry Christmas, Mr. Copper. That's a beautiful ending. I love it. That was truly, truly magnificent. I really enjoyed that one. The Christmas specials are so wonderful to watch aren't they 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 are just so magical and it even though <laughs> so many things go wrong it does just always have such a beautiful ending and it just fills me with so much happiness and positivity like that ending i'm so sad about poor astrid and we lost so many as well but it was a beautiful way to end that episode and it just feels so emotional and bittersweet and another life that the doctor was i wouldn't say that he was responsible for what happened to astrid and why she died not not at all it's not the doctor's fault him being there has saved the lives of some people at least and of course everyone's life on earth which is so special to him obviously he loves humans he loves earth but this was such a wonderful wonderful episode and i was so pleased to see kylie minogue in this one i haven't seen a lot of her acting roles so i i never watched neighbors when i was in my teens i always used to watch home and away instead but it was really interesting to to hear that she still has her Australian accent because I had thought that she would have taken on board a British accent by now but no she still has her Aussie accent which is just lovely and so special for me to hear that because I very rarely hear the Australian accent in uh, popular media TV and movies and things like that so I'm 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 very happy. I've been playing the Halo series and a few of uh, the soldiers are Australian with Australian accents so that it's just makes me so happy. But anyway, such a good episode. I really liked that I was able to pick up on a lot of uh, plot points and things that were happening but for the life of me I couldn't work out why Max Capricorn was doing what he was doing but it was explained in full there at the end. I, I just really couldn't see the point of why would he do that but it does make sense he was looking for revenge I guess so the whole reason why he did this was just petty a, a terrible want of destruction and revenge and you know that's never a good thing so he had a fitting ending for someone so cruel it was very sad for me to see that the lovely married couple died as well the cyborg fellow with the red face i really did expect everyone to die there at the end though and the doctor having saved nobody and he would just be alone and I thought that would really hone in on just how alone the doctor really is especially after just saying goodbye to Martha in the previous episode I thought that that would be 
a really nice touch, but I am glad that we've had uh, a few survivors and I especially want to see that lovely old man again. If I don't see him again, I'll be disappointed. Of course, I don't want to know if we do or not, but I just thought he was delightful and I hope he's out there living his best life with his million pounds. <laughs> Amazing. Such a great episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one and we're about to go full force into series four. I am excited. I cannot wait to see what's in store for us in the next episode few episodes and who our new companion is going to be. So can't wait. Bring it on. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Bye.